know if you noticed, but I'm sporting something very functional. Oh. You see me? I see you. Yeah, I ran out of hands and there was no ledge to place it upon. And I realized I had my own little hair ledge. ledge. Hair ledge. I don't know how it looks, but boy, who knew your hair could help you? You have a hair tie, it's a tape tie. Whenever you need it, you just pop it off. It's like a life hack, really, you know? Like, Exclusively oh, to two people, people with long, long hair. hair. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. I like your uh, block paint from earlier, baby. All over my nose. Ew, you let me get on camera like that? <laughs> I didn't even notice it until you were halfway through. <laughs> In building with earth bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be a part of our family for this week's adventure. We've been looking around for a TV stand to fit over the wheel well. Couldn't really find one, so we decided to make one. Proportions aren't exact, but it's basically going to look something like this. We really like the barn style cube shelf design. Jared was like, no problem, I can make it. He whipped up a fantastic design. Super excited about it. We purchased just a few pieces of wood here just to help with the general frame, but really this is gonna be made out of pallets. Yes. All right, oh, I'm excited. Look at them, they're all sanded up yeah. and everything. They're ready to go, would you look at that? Very cool, baby. In the meantime, I have everything I need for these two things. These are the panels that go into here. They slide right in. I was wanting to do chalkboard paint on the fridge face panels. Mm -hmm. I, I knew that pretty early on. This is metallic paint. So it makes things magnetized. But as I was doing research on the chalkboard paint, I was surprised to find they had a magnetic paint. And I was like, oh, we gotta try that. That <laughs> sounds fun. So it'll be kind of dual purpose. We'll be able to put magnetized stuff up there and Use it as a chalkboard, it's gonna yes. be kind of fun. So I've been a machinist for a few years and working in a machine shop. And woodworking is something that is sort of a new interest for me. Cutting the, the uprights should be good. Mainly inspired by the similarities of being a machinist and, and woodworking, but also a project my dad and I did a few years back. We built this almost seven foot tall bookshelf together and it was an awesome project get, to get to do. I'm very glad to have the opportunity to apply that interest and after a few years of not being able to have the opportunity to do it. Oh, it's so cute already! I will end up being like right there. We're gonna trim it all out in pallets and then use pallet slats at the bottom and the top of it. All right, the amazing Jocelyn has come to join <laughs> us. This is my older sister. She's my uh, dad's Hi. daughter. She jumped in to help. Mm -hmm. I was surprised, you know, mm -hmm. she'd only been working on a few hours of sleep, but she's like, I'm ready. How can I help? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's come down to help us with the wedding stuff, but also uh, she's jumping in to help with the RV. And she's got a genius plan on how yeah. to do this without dirtying anything. I don't know if it's genius, but <laughs> it was such a small area. I thought, why dirty up? <laughs> keep rolling over it until it's all just kind of where you want it. I love it. It's brilliant. Add more. Yeah. You need more. And she had fun little hacks to share mm -hmm. with us. <laughs> She's gonna impart her wisdom well, upon us. So can you see how like when you just rub it all in you see your lines yeah. and stripes? Yeah. So if you start from one end and just don't put any extra paint on but just let the weight of the brush go across Ooh. and those lines will slowly fade and disappear. 
See how like half of that? Oh yeah, that looks See wonderful. the difference in that? Mm -hmm. You have more, more wisdom more. to impart upon us. <laughs> more tips. So I usually use the ones that have like the half moon okay. because it fits right over and that's only like a small little wow. chunk. You get all that extra paint you get to That's save. wonderful. With working with palettes, we have resident palette experts in yes. Garen and Ellie. As far as I can tell, Garen just goes there. He just goes down. Yeah. He just goes down. So. All right. How was it? Was it working good? It's a lot more violent than I was expecting, but <laughs> yes. All right. Good we, job, baby. We talked to them about what saw blades to use and what they recommend as far as even just working with the pieces. I asked Garen if he had a spare blade that he was telling us on the podcast a yeah. couple of weeks ago. And if you like to catch that, it was on a podcast. We'll link it down in the description and get all the juice from them. Mm -hmm. We took their recommendations and it made the process fairly simple and fairly easy. These are all dry. We let them dry overnight after Jocelyn, that last coat on them. And now we're gonna try it out. This is a sticker from our shop and mom put a magnet on it, so. Oh my gosh, it does stick, babe. Sticking. Whoa. Oh my gosh. What about? Oh, that's a heavier one. Yeah. <gasps> I say that's pretty good. That's so fun. It's so fun. Super surprised at how well the magnet actually worked. It fits your magnetic personality. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some chalkboard paint here now. So this will be, I think, the last thing that we do on these panels. Artiste creating it. You have to decide what you want. Okay. Right. I'm gonna love it no matter what. I already love it. He hasn't even made it yet. <laughs> <laughs> All those. All right. We got the tail and the job saw. Wood, wood. Wood, wood. Got all these chopped down. These are the top shelf and the bottom shelf so far. get these on there and see what it looks like with a shelf on it. It's just super exciting. This is like the cool part of it. Mm -hmm. um, this thing needs support. This is a palette? Yeah. Ready for the grand reveal. You're ready grand for reveal. the grand reveal. <gasps> Gosh, yeah, I don't think you need a back either. This is looking fantastic or what? Thank you. All right, you're gonna do a dry fitting of those? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, that is the coolest piece of furniture, babe. We wanted the fridge black to match the other appliances. We asked last time we posted a video on the RV what we should do to paint the plastic on this. We had a lot of suggestions on how to paint that black. It had recommended to us a lot of plastic paints. Thank you so much for sending in those. Those were awesome. I'm gonna hit this with some sandpaper real quick. We'll rough up the edges and then I'll hit it with the black paint. And I also have some clear coat that I'm gonna put over the top of it as well. I have to tape it off, unfortunately. I've got some tape and drop cloth. You leave this down, you can attach plastic attach to it. Genius. Up here. Genius. Genius. 
it's really neat that these projects give us the opportunity to work together, get to know each other a little better. It's different between visiting and working together. Mm -hmm. That's a different relationship building process. Yeah, and that's true. And really neat that we got an opportunity to do that with Jocelyn. She is awesome. I didn't get it on yeah. film because I was enthralled, but the way she put that tape up there was like <laughs> professional. Well then here, we'll do it here. We'll oh, do yeah. it here. Oh. So sometimes you can like slide it up in. Mm. Perfect. Ooh. Look at you with all these life hacks. <laughs> you know. I've done a lot of painting yes. over the years. Yes. Yay! Good job, Justin. have made things run a little bit that was I I wouldn't do that I'm a flawless painter that never makes any mistakes I don't ever need this I don't even know what you're seeing it's nothing that's what you're seeing <laughs> oh so you're not sanding it I see no yeah I'm having to do this in segments making sure all the stuff that's open is getting a really good paint job I'm gonna close this and I'll hit the front side of it I'm just doing the edges flawlessly without flawlessly. any problems <laughs> Got the stain that we're going to test, see if we like it. We purchased a gray stain thinking that we were going to like it, mm -hmm. but we figured if we were going to test, we should use some stains that we already had. I thought we'd try something fun. We usually do brown or other types of stains, but this just looked like a lot of fun to try. Test piece geared and ready to go. It's like paint with silver. A little bit. How strange. Hmm. It's kind of beachy. It vaguely looks like driftwood. What do you think of that? I don't know. Let's see what it looks like dried. So we had like a pecan and a red oak. This is the red oak, right? Yeah, red oak. So we're going to be doing the same piece on a different side. Would it be nice to maybe have like a dark wood in there? What do you think of that? A dark red. I like that. Okay. It's nice. Golden pecan will try on one of the sides. This is what we put on everything. It's light. the lightest one. We got two darks and a light. All right. Well, we'll go try that test piece in there. We'll let it dry for a few minutes and we'll put it in there and see how well, because this is going to be the trim for everything. Yeah. We got our test board. Red oak, golden pecan, and weathered gray. That's the gray. Golden pecan. Which would look decent? That would look decent. And the red oak, though. Oh, that okay, let's... so... Oh, I like the red oak. Gray is nice, but it's not as classy as the red oak. I really like the red oak, and I've been liking reds more recently, so. It fits right into the phase we're in. Yeah, I think so. All right, red oak it is. Red we gotta oak go get is. us some red oak. <laughs> with the way the TV stand came out. Mm -hmm. it, it's so beautiful in there and it fits our purposes completely by fitting over that wheel well, being strong enough to do what it needs to do. Mm -hmm. Both of us were really pleased with the way those palettes turned mm -hmm. out. Very pleased. You did it exactly the way we were picturing it mm -hmm. with barn style. Oh, it looks so neat in there. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. That's gonna be the same stain. All the trim and everything's gonna get too, which is mm -hmm. nice, have that all settled. Yes. And I love that the fridge is dual purpose. We can do the chalkboard and the magnets. A lot of fun. And mm -hmm. also I think it fits really well now with the rest of the appliances in that room. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> up this week we have a bunch of t-shirt designs over on our shop jared's got would you be mine on and i've got having a splash but we have numerous ones over there if you'd like to check them out the link will be down in the description on monday we talked about the completed outdoor shower earth bag build that we did as well as some stuff on the van conversion that garen and ellie are doing that was a fun podcast on friday we're gonna have an exciting wedding prep project type video that's coming out dad has a clever way he got around the expensive wood prices so it's one you don't want to miss we really appreciate you being a part of our family and we look forward to hanging out with you on friday for that weekly peak. Bye. Thank you. Nice.
Wow, that's so fun. You have got to see this paint. We talked about the black paint we have put on being super thick, but oh my goodness. This is an absolute crack. Look at just how chunky that is. It does smooth out. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's worked though. It worked. It really did. It really did work. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. And then chalkboard. Nice. Write little love notes. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. Good morning. <laughs> it's like, yes, I saw you get up. It's a small place. Yes. <laughs>